one way of doing it. Um, another way is very similar to, um, so this is, this is a bigger brush and I'm going to use this um, again, how we, we want to get the, the hairs all wet and then you, you drag it off. Even though we're going to do a dry brush stroke now, you still want all of the hairs evenly moistured. You know what? We'll talk about cleaning brushes. Okay. If you want to, we'll do it today, otherwise we'll do it in two weeks, but we'll see how time goes. So, um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm getting like the bottom half, because I said, you know, rule of thumb is like half, and this is just all nice black ink. And now I'm going to rub it, I can rub it in the, the porcelain, right? And then, then I want to do is kind of rub it off on my paper towel, and get it nice and dry. Now, you don't need it to be a point. So I've got this tree stroke here with the outline. Let's say I was going to do this brush. You can just come in from the side. I'm pressing down. I'm thinking of like the growth. That tree I'm twisting. And I'm lifting. The trail off. And then I remember in springtime, you get like one shoot that goes straight up. What you might want to do is usually in these compositions, you might see another branch that might come down. And so you, you just create either from observation or nature, but if you know you spend a lot of time looking at trees, you kind of understand how they're constructed. So that is what it looks like on newsprint. I can show you, I can pull out some Sumier paper and show you that. But what you want to do is you're getting it really, really dry and you're just coming in and you're just pressing it and lifting it. And you might even get like these dragon lines. And what you'll see, a lot of times they kind of bend back and forth on each other. And so there's examples that you can actually look at here and see how, how the, the branches are actually growing out. But you want to make sure that there's no two that are lining up even and that they have you know, you got a variety. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back in here and you're going to pick out where you're going to, just a few, you just need a few to express the idea. But the last thing you'll do too is in everywhere there's a like a, a bend, that's where the moss is going to grow. You know, that's where it's going to get wet and dark. And so what you do here is that's like you would put in you know, like just, th these are like dots. They almost look like thorns or something like that in different spots on, on different sides, you know, just to give just a little touch here and there. You know, it's like you're a chef and you don't want to dump all the salt, right? Just put a little bit, you know, and that'll make it just pop hard and then you lift to, as it make, comes, becomes thinner. Any questions? Where does the blossom go? So the, that's a great question. So so your blossoms are going to be um, they're, they're going to be coming out of the branches, right? You know, you're not going to have um, two different styles on your tree. So here I'm going to do the this um, freestyle. So I'm just going to do like a side view. 
coming out, out of here. And then I can add like the, the filaments. This would be more like the pink blossom because you know you're you're using the like the color. It's a gray. If you do the outline, it's going to be more um, representative of the the white one. And you're not going to do white and pink on the same tree, right? So here I might do like a bud. Usually, sometimes you'll see a bud like at the very just to leave it just a point you know, like a sword, like the warrior sword, right? But, um, so you can add these, um, you know, in, in different places on the branch. And then you can also add, add some, less is always better. You know, so you could, and when you do the branches, you know, we talked about um, branches, you want to do like one medium, and then you do a small one, and then you can do a long one. Um, long, small, medium. So you want to kind of um, alternate them, you know, so that, that they're not all the same length. And another way to do it is just kind of layer them. So, and that's the, the bone stroke when you go, you go back, forward, back. So, I'm exaggerating, I'm slowing it down to show you. Any questions? Can we hold the brush like more, um, like straight up and down when we do the branches, the dark? With these branches? Um, you know, I think it's more important just to, to really feel like, you know, feel like you're, you're touching. The actual branch you know so just imagine that bark right underneath your brush so whichever way you need to hold your brush to do that um, but but typically when you do the bone stroke you, you put it and then back